set the denominator equal to 0. That's all you have to do. However, we should also simplify this, though, first, right? So yeah, you're setting it equal to 0. However, we should always simplify this to make sure that none of our discontinuities are holes, though, correct? So even though I say, yes, yeah, set it equal to 0 to find your vertical asymptotes, we should always check to make sure that um, we don't have any of these discontinuities or holes, which in this case looks like we are going to have some. x minus 2 is a discontinuity, but it's a hole. I'm going to set this by factoring. So that's x minus 2 times x plus 2 equals 0. So therefore, x minus 2 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. So therefore, our discontinuities are x cannot equal 2 and x cannot equal negative 2. However, x minus 2 is a what? Whole, because it's removable. So x equals negative 2 is our only asymptote. Did you guys see that, how it got changed? Okay, so x equals 2 is not an asymptote. Then the next thing to find the horizontal asymptote, just do the um, degree test. We look at our degree in the numerator and the denominator. We see that the leading co or the degree in the numerator is 0. Where I'm sorry, no, it's not. It's 1. The degree in the numerator is 1. Degree in the denominator is 2. So therefore, y is equal to 0. Right? Um, just because